Hey, it's Patrick Grosser with Fathom Realty. It's 75 degrees here in Florida. Uh, if you stay to the end of this video, I'll tell you a little bit more about where we're staying here for our family Christmas vacation and show you some of the, uh, the views here. But we're going to talk about the Cincinnati real estate market here for week 52 of 2021 compared to the same week in 2020. See how we measure up. Um, and also talk about three strategies you can utilize in 2022 to achieve your real estate goals in Cincinnati. So first, let's take a look at the numbers. New listings are down 10%. We're already in a low inventory market, so we don't want to see that happening. Fewer listings coming to market. That's due in large part to the uh, hot market we had last year, this time of year, compared to a normal market this time of year. Closings are down 25%, so overall quite a bit less activity than we saw last year. Again, a reflection of an overactive market in the fall and winter of 2020 compared to a normal market here in the fall and winter of 2021. Average sale price is up 9%, a pretty modest amount of growth compared to what we've seen the rest of the year, which has averaged around 17% but certainly good growth for sellers, for homeowners, uh, makes it difficult for buyers to afford uh, a new home, of course, uh, but historically low mortgage interest rates have helped them to keep their monthly payments down. If those interest rates do increase, we do expect that home affordability will go down, but, and also the rate at which home prices have been increasing is going to slow. We don't think it's gonna level off or drop. We just think that the rate at which home prices have been rising is going to slow down. So maybe high single digits around 9% might be typical next year, whereas it's kind of a low amount of growth week to week this year. Average days on market is down 41% compared to last year. We're at about 16 days from active depending status, whereas last year was about 27 days. So a pretty big uh, increase in the rate at which things are happening this year compared to the same time last year. And we're at an all-time low for the year in terms of total inventory at 1.61 months, which is equal to 48 days of total inventory, which includes active coming soon and pending those listings that have already gone under contract but haven't closed yet. So in terms of active and coming soon inventory, that makes up only 41% of that total. In other words, 20 days of active inventory for buyers to choose from. So we're still very much in a seller's market, a very tight market, difficult for buyers to find what they're looking for and relatively easy for our sellers to take advantage of the market conditions to sell for top dollar and get the terms they want for the sale of their home here in 2021. So with the new year upon us, it is New Year's Eve. Tomorrow's 2022. Everybody's thinking about their plans for next year. If you're thinking about selling your home, I don't recommend waiting until the spring or the summer when there's more buyers out because we don't know what's going to happen with mortgage interest rates. Uh, if they do rise and we don't know if that, how that's going to impact the market, it may actually negatively impact sellers, give them less leverage in negotiations if those increased mortgage interest rates encourage fewer buyers to come to market. So we don't know what's gonna happen, but we do know what the market's like now. And there are fewer buyers right now in the off season here in the winter in Cincinnati, um, kind of the opposite here for the Florida market from what I've heard. But in Cincinnati, we wanna make sure you're doing more proactive marketing than you typically do in the spring and the summer because you're not in peak season, you don't have the advantage of all the buyers, you need to make sure you're finding the right buyers where they are, even if they're not actively searching on home sites, you need to make sure you reach them in their social media feed, in their mailbox through paid advertising, and you wanna make sure you're reaching the right people, those who would consider your home to be their dream home, because the features of your home match their needs perfectly. Now we do all of that through a process we call target marketing. If you'd like to learn more about it, get more for your home sale, a higher price, better terms, Click the link, check out the video, learn about target marketing, see if it's a good fit for you. Chances are it's going to get you better results for the sale of your home if you utilize that method. Again, target marketing. Click the link, check out the video at patrickrosser.com slash sell. Now, if you're thinking about buying a home in 2022, it's a great time right now to keep your eye on the market, to make sure you're getting listings that match your search criteria automatically via email, and also get access, priority access to off-market opportunities when we come in contact with homeowners who would be willing to sell before they hit the open market because they don't want to do all the preparation for the open market. They don't want to deal with a bunch of showings coming through and dealing with all these offers and trying to negotiate all of that. They'd rather just sell at a fair price for them and the terms that they want to an individual buyer or a couple who's really interested in living in their neighborhood. So we can match you up with those opportunities. Again, give you access through the MLS to listings that match your criteria 
specific to what you need the moment they hit the market so you don't miss anything. And the best part is we offer this opportunity we call the just looking approach, where we don't have a salesperson bothering you. We only reach out to you if you ask us for something, if you have a question about a listing or you want to schedule a showing. Otherwise, we set everything up for you and we forget about you. We leave you alone. That way you can take your time to make an informed decision about the best places for you to take a look at if and when you're ready to do that. So that's the just looking approach. Click the link, watch the video, learn more about it, see if that's a good fit for you at patrickrosser.com slash just looking. Now, if you're thinking about buying and selling at the same time, you want to make sure you figure out your financing as soon as possible because that's going to dictate whether you can buy first and move into your new home and then sell your home and ultimately only move one time. Or if you have to sell your current home first, move into temporary housing, then buy your next home and then move into that as well, moving twice. Uh, or if you want to do a back-to-back -back closing, um, buying and selling in the same day and then making that move once all in one day, you need to figure out what your options are in terms of financing to see what you can do, even what's possible. So we put together a video to go over all the traditional financing options and also something new that we call the bridge solution, where you can actually sell your home to an investor partner of ours. You can lease it back month to month. And in the process, you can erase your mortgage debt. You can tap your home equity to pay off some old debts, get yourself into a better financial position, even trade up to a better, more conventional loan. Also put more money down in the next home you purchase so you can even make your offer on your next home more attractive to the seller of that home. So if you get in a competitive situation with multiple offers with other buyers, your offer can rise to the top and you can ultimately win your dream home. So we go over the bridge solution, all of your traditional options to figure out what your financing options are if you're buying and selling. Check out the video, click the link, patrickgrosser.com slash bridge. Now I promised if you stayed to the end of the video, I would show you a little bit about our place that we're staying at, tell you a little bit about it, show you the view. So we're gonna do that in just a second. But if you like this sort of information, the market news for the Cincinnati real estate, uh, some buyer seller tips and strategies, go ahead and hit the like button. Make sure more videos come to your feed in the future. Also look through our timeline and playlist on our Facebook business page. Uh, make sure if you don't wanna miss any videos in the future, you actually follow our Facebook business page and turn on notifications. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel at Patrick Grosser Cincinnati Realtor. And if you have any topic suggestions for us, go ahead and drop those in the comments for us. So in just a second here, I'm going to turn the camera around and show you a little bit about the view here and where we're staying here for our family Christmas vacation. So I just turned my camera around. This is the view from our balcony. We're at the San Destin Resort, which is in between Santa Rosa and Destin. Technically Miramar Beach, Florida. We're in the Luau number two building on the 12th floor. So we've got these panoramic views of the Gulf of Mexico. It's pretty hazy this morning, so you can definitely see the Gulf, but you can't see as far as you normally can when it's more clear. But this gives you a really good idea of what you can see here. So of course the biggest draw here is the beach. You've got white sand, you've got the emerald water of the Gulf of Mexico, but you've got a heated pool here and a hot tub. Uh, there's a lot of high-rise condos around here in the resort that have different amenities. Most of them have pools. This is one of the few that have a heated pool. We've spent quite a bit of time there on the beach. Sunrises and sunsets. Even days like this where it's hazy, it's still really pretty. Definitely weather dependent. We've had a great time so far. We've got a couple more days left here. Actually, if you look in the distance over this way, you've got more water that way. So we're kind of surrounded. By water, you can actually see the peninsula here as we're surrounded by water really on all sides here. So, very pretty area, really family friendly. There's an area they call the Baytown Wharf where they've got a lot of shops and activities like rope climbing and bungee trampoline and um, zip lining and all those kinds of things. You find other tourist attractions like Gatlinburg and things like that, but they've got it here. So, if you uh, don't want to spend every moment at the beach like some people do. You've got some other activities to enjoy as well. So uh, it is New Year's Eve. We're going to check out the fireworks at the wharf tonight. There's some family activities there. We're doing an early countdown for the kids and then there's a later countdown for adults. So definitely a family friendly area, San Destin Resort here in Miramar Beach, Florida. So it's been Patrick Grosser with Fathom Realty. Hope you uh, enjoy the news about the Cincinnati real estate market and that you've enjoyed the view here at the Sandestin Resort. 
And uh, if you need any help with your real estate needs here, feel free to reach out to us, patrickgrosser.com, or you've got some of the links there uh, beneath the video that you can take a look at, some of the special offers we have for our new clients and our existing clients. Check those out and let us know how we can help you.